In this video, I'll be transferring some Minecraft items into weapons from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know them, you love them, now let's have the best of both worlds, and add some Marvel items to our Minecraft experience. Stay tuned to the end to find out what legendary weapons made the cut, and for a special surprise from Marvel's most iconic character. Also, if you happen to enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more Minecraft craziness. It really helps me out and lets me know you're enjoying the content. Leave a comment on what I should do next, and without further ado, let's swing right into it. So, the first thing that comes to mind when I think of superheroes is the trident. Not only is this thing super rare, everyone and their grandma wants one. It's like a sword, except you can pitch it halfway across an ocean, and it'll just come flying right back to you. I'm personally more of an impaling madness kind of guy myself, so the trident is my go-to weapon for zombies, skeletons, stream stands, etc. The best weapon from Marvel that would fit the trident is Thor's hammer. Maj- 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 Jonathan? I see a lot of similarities between the two weapons, and I think this is the coolest thing I could turn a trident into. We'll begin modeling by shortening the handle. Now we'll get rid of the fork ends. Honestly, Thor's hammer is a pretty basic design. It's essentially just a block on a stick. Like, someone just kebobbed a stone block and thought it looked cool. Anyways, I have a couple things in mind to make it look less like a stone kebab. I'll use more shapes to make a sort of bevel effect on the sides and top of the hammer. I think it gives it a little more pizzazz and makes it look a little less like a caveman's mallet. Now I'll add a little stub at the end of the grip. I've always been intrigued by the concept of Thor's hammer. Like, if you dropped it on someone's foot, would they just be stuck there until you picked it back up? Imagine if you dropped it on someone's head. If they can't pick it up, would it just hydraulic press them into the ground? Do you think Jesus could hold it? So many questions for this hammer. Anyways, we'll finish it off by designing a texture for the handle. And finally, I'll shade the sides of the hammerhead. And with that, I think it's looking pretty good, so let's test it back in Minecraft. So here we are back in Minecraft, and I'm not sure if I'm worthy enough to pick this thing up. Alright, here goes nothing. Ah, I guess I'm not worthy enough. Psych! I'm the god of thunder, baby! Okay, okay, that last part was command blocks, but this thing looks absolutely legendary. I'm really happy with how the design turned out. And check it, you throw it into the horizon, and it comes right back to you, just like the real thing. Oh no, a zombie? Let me just reach for my hammer and... So, the hammer coming back to you is a really cool and dandy feature, but if you know the trident, you know the other unique enchantments that come with it. For example, you could go with the more bold approach and enchant it with Riptide. Now I can bend physics and fly through the air. That's another cool thing that's similar to the actual hammer. Thor can just give it a fancy spin and launch into the sky. Now you can in Minecraft too. But the one enchantment that will truly turn you into the god of thunder is channeling. Channeling is by far the coolest enchantment to ever enchant. The enchantment to end all enchantments. How many times have I said enchantments? Anyways, let's see what we can do with channeling on this bad boy. Okay, so this is a really decked out weapon. You can fly with it, retrieve it from hundreds of blocks away, and strike stuff with lightning. A weapon of the gods if I've ever seen one. Drowned also look a lot more threatening now. <laughs> He's just casually throwing like, dozens of Jonathans at me. I wonder what the drowned did to become worthy. Well, there you have it. Thor's hammer in Minecraft. For our next model, I want to give the shield a little makeover. Everyone knows the shield. It's a pretty standard item to have nowadays, and all your favorite big YouTubers are constantly hiding behind it as we speak. So. How about we make this thing look less like a piece of cardboard, and more like a real shield? But I'm not just talking about any shield. I'm talking full-on, vibranium-infused, red, white, and blue star-spangled frisbee. That's right, Captain America's shield. Possibly the most iconic tool in the history of the MCU. Every distinguished fan knows what this shield is. So today, we're bringing it to Minecraft. I'll start from the front of the shield and work my way back. I'd say this is probably another pretty simple design. All I have to do really is plaster an American flag on a frisbee. Okay, so making a star with very few pixels is actually a bit of a challenge. I think that's the best I'll be able to do. Next, we'll paint our stripes on the shield. I've always felt like Cap's shield design was a bit strange. Like, the stripes in the flag normally represent the original 13 colonies, but Cap only has three. Did he have three favorite colonies? The world may never know. Also, why only one star? Which state is the one star? I need to know. Like, Wyoming? 
Captain Wyoming. Anyways, I finished up our red, white, and blue trash can lid, so now we'll move on to the back and add some hand straps. Very important for maximum grippage on the shield. Alright, it looks like we have ourselves a finished model, so let's see it in the game. Here we are back in Minecraft, and I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how well it turned out. The design truly makes you feel like Captain America in Minecraft. Nothing says American pride like this colorful frisbee, and of course, it works just how you'd expect. I really like how it covers almost the full body, just like in the movies. Anyways, here's another epic fight montage for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> One sad thing about the shield is that if you wanted to reenact your favorite ricochet moments from the movies, this is what happens. <coughs> Nevertheless, still a really cool thing to use in the game. Now that we have some epic tools to aid us in our adventures, I think it's time we made some body armor. And what better armor to make from Marvel than Tony Stark's iron suit? For sure my favorite character in the MCU, Tony Stark has a notorious collection of iconic iron suits. In this video, we'll be making his classic Mark III suit from Iron Man 1. Conveniently enough, there's already iron armor in the game, so we'll just be modeling a suit from that. I really don't feel like modeling an intricate suit from scratch, so I'll just... Yoink! Link to the suits in the description, thanks for fueling my laziness. I think it's crazy how Tony made almost 100 suits in his lifetime. Go touch grass, am I right? In all seriousness, I like Iron Man's character a lot. I think there's a lot that makes him unique, especially his armor that went slash game mode creative. Anyways, after a few final touches to the armor, I'm ready to suit up in game. Here we are back in Minecraft and- Oh, why isn't it working? Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave! With a box of scraps! Ah, there we go. Looking gorgeous. I created some icons for the armor to better match it as well. Well, time to suit up. There you have it. It honestly looks a little bulkier than I imagined. You know what? It's so bulky that it kind of reminds me of the Iron Monger suit that he used in the first movie. Oh well, still an awesome design. Of course, it still works just like the Iron Armor does. Nothing too special in that arena, other than the fact that you can horrify any mob that's unfortunate enough to come in contact with you. Well, if you put it in creative mode, you can definitely start to feel like the real Iron Man. Oh, I almost forgot. Epic battle montage! <laughs> So now that we have the core Marvel tools in our world, let's make something a little more sinister. Everyone familiar with the MCU knows who Purple Great Man is. So let's make his favorite weapon from Endgame, which is the sword that also doubles as a ceiling fan. So for this model, we'll be using a netherite sword, which is the most appropriate item I could think of for his dorky little blade. I would have made the Infinity Gauntlet, but I honestly don't know what item I would turn it into. I think that could be its own separate video, to be honest. Anyways, it's coming along pretty good, although I still think this thing is dorky. Thanos looked way less threatening holding this thing, than the Infinity Gauntlet. It's like a kayak paddle. I don't know how a whole group of superhumans couldn't stop this purple dude who was holding a 2x4 in his hands. That's enough dogging on it for now. Let's check it out in game. Ah yes, just as ridiculous in game as it is in the movie. Although, something feels a bit off. Ah, oh, that's much better. This sword will serve me well while I continue my Let's Play series. What's up guys, Thanos here with another survival Let's Play. Today we'll be cutting the mob population in half to restore balance. But first, I need to get some diamonds here. Finally, I have them all. Well, it's been fun, Mr. Purple Great Man, but now it's time to move on to our final project of the day. So, to make this a truly unique Marvel experience, I wanted to have a surprise visit from the cameo master himself, Stan Lee. For those of you who don't know, Stan Lee was one of the core creators of many Marvel heroes. He showed up in every Marvel production movie up until Endgame, at which time he unfortunately passed away. His cameos will forever be an iconic part of Marvel cinematic history. So, let's give him one more cameo and put him in the game. But, what mob would be the best for Stan? I pondered it for a while, and I finally decided that the Wandering Trader is the best fit for him. As you know, the Wandering Trader shows up at random times and disappears just as quickly. It's the perfect cameo mob, an excellent fit for Stan Lee. So to model Stan Lee, we'll need a few of his distinguishing features. First, he'll need his mustache. Next, we'll need to make a pair of glasses for him. Eh, a little too big for his face, huh? That looks a little better. Now it's starting to look a bit like the real Stan Lee. But we need to add a couple more important things. We'll add a bit of texturing to his face. 
and finally we'll add some nice bushy hair. You know, for his age, Stanley had some rockin' hair. Anyways, I'm very pleased with how this model turned out, so let's check it out in person. Stanley, welcome to Minecraft. Man, this is such a great feature. I can't wait to be minding my own business and have him jump scare me out of nowhere. You know, he actually sort of sounds like the real Stanley too. Huh? And of course, at night, he disappears, nowhere to be found. It's truly a perfect fit for Stanley. Any thoughts on this resource pack, Stan? Ah. Well, there you have it, a Stanley cameo in Minecraft. Well, this was a fun one to make. I really enjoyed adding some Marvel stuff to the game. We got new weapons, armor, and even a new mob to make Minecraft more marvelous. Thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like and subscribe to support the channel and to see more Minecraft content. Please let me know what you want to see next in the comments. And with that, I'll see you all in the next one.